Well, good afternoon and welcome back to Windy Hill Kennel. This is October the 12th. I think that's today. Uh, this is Monday and this is Patty's kids. This is the first time I just brought them out, dumped them out of my laundry basket and put them on the ground. So this is gonna be their first experience at grass, concrete, and without mom. They're doing way better than I thought they would be. I wanted to bring Patty out, but I can't this morning because everybody else is gone. So we're expecting rain, they say in the forecast. So I thought I'm just doing this myself. So you're gonna get to see them for the first time in the grass. And they don't even act like they've ever not seen grass and they have not seen grass mm -hmm. until now or been on the concrete or been outside like this. So this shows you how outgoing that they can be. Patty's kids are always this way. They're not afraid of anything. They should be cowering in the background. Um, I did this yesterday with Roxy's kids. And if you go on and watch the second video I posted yesterday of Roxy's, you'll see how they normally act when they come out without mom. These guys came out bounding like, oh, this is great and they're totally at ease and they're totally doing fine. So I took some weights and microchip numbers and collar colors for you. So it's gonna be really hard. Their hair's getting really long. The girls just gave them a bath this morning and you're, we're gonna to have to hunt collar colors, that's for sure. So let me go down through the black ones. I did all the black ones first. I did their pictures today too. So you're gonna get new pictures today. Uh, first puppy is 30602. It's got a neon pink collar on. It's a female. She, we she weighs 5 pounds, 1.5 ounce. Second puppy out here, 30601, has a turquoise collar. And it is a male, weighs 5 pounds, 3.5. You're going to sit here and bark at me because I'm standing right in front of them. Uh, the next one is 30606. It has a purple collar on. It's a female. Weighs 4 pounds, 5 ounces. The fourth puppy is 30609. And it's a royal collar with a male. 5 pounds, 9.5. That's the neon pink that's doing all the barking. Uh, number five is 30605 was a neon orange collared female and she is four pounds 15 ounces 30604 is the neon green collar female she weighs four pounds four ounces they're being very vocal uh, number seven 30603 yellow collar and a female, three pounds, 15 ounces. 30608 is a red collar, and it's a female, weighs four pounds, 15.5, and that's the dark merle female. She's sitting there staring. There she got up. Those two I can pick out really easy. 30607 is the forest green collar. It's the other merle, the lighter merle, right there by the dark merle. And that's a male, it's four pounds, 8.5. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can find collar colors for you. Since they're being, there's the neon green, we just spotted that one. Uh, yellow is right there, you can see that yellow under the hair. Let's see what else we can find. Royal blue is right here under me, inspecting the leaves. So this is the royal blue color. All right, let's see, who else? Turquoise, oh, turquoise is stalking the other puppy over here. It's gonna attack him. Right there's the turquoise. And neon orange looks like clear across there with her butt up in the air. I think that's the neon orange that's, that the turquoise, yep, that's neon orange, turquoise, and light, and neon pink is in the middle. So there's neon pink headed that direction for the toy. All right, who have I missed? Purple, right there, curled up, right here, if you can catch, there you can just catch a glimpse of that purple collar. I can't get the collar, there you go, there's the purple collar, just for a second. So that's the purple female. Who else have we missed? 
neon green, red. Oh, wait, that's the Merle. We know that one. Um, there's neon green again. If you stare up at me, I can't see your collar color. No, you're wiggling your tail too much. Neon pink, neon orange. Let me see if I can move over here off the fence. That's yellow, neon green, purple collar just going in the grass. I think we got them all. That's royal blue right there underneath me. Turquoise, oops, sorry, my finger's over that. Didn't, gotta watch the camera, not my hands. Uh, neon orange is right there. If we didn't do neon orange, that's neon orange. I think we got them all. And red is over here with the yellow toy. All right, so I think we got them all. These guys are doing super good. They had their uh, Neopar shot last week. And like I said, this is phenomenal. They're playing like this out here. There's the, the lighter colored Merle playing. This is up, I'm taking off. That's the dark Merle female. Oh, that's gonna be a head to head Merle issue. She says, I don't take any crap from my brothers. They're funny. So this week they got a bath this morning and so they're clean for a little bit. Uh, Patty is doing really good with them. Uh, I'm surprised she's not getting tired of them yet, but she's not because this is a pastel of babies, that's for sure. Um, they'll come to the house starting on their six week birthday because Patty is going to be ready to get rid of them. So what we do and how we determine where we start, we start with the biggest puppies. And uh, we'll probably bring three in at a time. And uh, either that or cut her in half the first day and bring four. And then after that, we do every couple days, we'll bring another one in and we slowly wean them off. But usually with this big a litter, mom spends most of her, side, her time outdoors where they can't reach her. <laughs> that way she doesn't have to nurse them as often. But they are absolutely eating dry dog food. And we've got them started on, oh my goodness sake, we've got them started on cottage cheese. I'm gonna move again because they're gonna, they're gonna go, I wanna be with your feet. So we're moving on the other side. Um, nothing really significant everybody's doing great uh, i'm going to send all your videos out this week and so you'll get your email with uh, about seven or eight videos on it and if you'll please watch those before you come to pick up your puppies that way it's actually me sitting down at my kitchen table or the countertop i guess in the kitchen and going over your whole puppy packet with you and i do it in about eight to ten minute segments so that way you can go back and re-listen to something if you want to. But please listen to those. Then write down any of your questions that you might have that I didn't answer for you. And please bring those with you when you come to pick up. That way we can go through and talk about whatever you need to talk about. Crate size. I've been having a lot of people ask me about crates. So these guys are going to be big puppies. I would not put them in anything any smaller than a 36. And if you have the room, I'd go to a 40 inch crate, uh, which is the length. They always get taller as you get longer. You don't have any choice in that. But especially if you work, please also don't put the divider in your crate that comes with it. Throw it away. If you pin these guys in a half a crate thinking, oh, they'll never potty, that's not true. When you put them in that divider and you're not home, they're going to pee and defecate just the same as they would if you were home and in a large crate. They're going to potty, then they're not going to have any room, they're going to lay in it, you're going to be angry with them because they've got it on them and they can't help it. So please, throw the divider away and give them the largest crate you can afford. Don't put them in anything any smaller than a, a 40. Some people may already have a 36, but you're going to find a 36 is... I wouldn't want to be in a 36 as a puppy because by the time these guys are 10, 11, 12 weeks old, they're going to have doubled in size. And if they don't have room to play in part of it and go lay down in the rest of it, you're going to get them to where they don't care about feces and urine and they're a slob and they, and they live in it. So um, 
please, please, if you work, get them the bigger crate. It's worth the investment. Um, you can find them pretty cheap. We sell 40-inch crates for about $59. That'll give you a sounding board to, where to go for a crate. If you need a crate and you want it when you come, you've got to let me know at least a week and a half ahead of time because I have to order them in. Um, so check prices on crates. Like I said, our 40-inch crate runs $59. Um, see what you can find out there. If you can't find one at a decent price, let me know, and I'll be glad to have one here ready for you. Um, Dog food wise, if you're worried about dog food, depending on the state you live in, because I know we have a lot of these puppies going to different states, we do have uh, 35 pound bags of our dog food available here that the puppies have been on. I feed high standard. It is hard to find. It is not sold in box stores. It's only sold at grain mills, like where you would go to buy your cow feed, your horse feed, uh, not tractor supply, not rule king, at a, a regular feed mill that grinds their own feed and mixes it. Those are the places that usually carry the brand that we use. Um, our dog food is $39 a bag and it's a 35 pound bag. It's a 30% protein, 20% fat. So do some checking, see what you can find in your area. I do not recommend grain free dog food at all. If you have questions why, go to the internet and look up grain-free dog food, and heart problems. They are finding that it is possibly causing... Shh, it's possibly causing heart problems in dogs as they age. So I do not feed a grain-free dog food at all. So, other than that, uh, watch your videos. Um, call me if you have any questions before that or you want to know about a crate. Please don't email me. COVID is still causing my emails to go absolutely crazy. And I just cannot get to all of them. I can't. So please don't think I'm ignoring your emails. I just do not have physically enough time to take care of this kennel and answer the hundreds of emails I'm getting for people that are looking for puppies. So text me or call me. Always the best way to reach me. She is bound. I'm going to pick her up, isn't she? I'm not. I'm not. She does have a blue eye, by the way. Uh, the eye that's on the left in this screen is blue. You can really see her. I just saw it before I zoomed out. Um, so, uh, so far as I can tell, she's the only one but the two Merles that has blue. But um, anyway, <coughs> excuse me. I hope you've enjoyed their video. I'm going to have pictures on for you. They're doing great. I mean, they're growing like weeds. So have a good week. Have a safe week. Oh, my goodness sake. And when she comes to the house, we will stop that because we do no bark, no bite, and no lick when they come to the house. Right now, they're kind of uh, on mom's territory, and mom has to take care of them. So once they come to the house, we do work on them on being nuisance whining which that is what she's doing right now. So have a good one. Um, hope you enjoyed their video, and I hope you like their new pictures. Talk to you later.